good morning. So we had a nice night last night in uh, Goongarra campground. Uh, it was pretty quiet, there's lots of people there, but they all show up about 9.30. Uh, but, so we've been looking at the map and we decided we're gonna come up and do McKillop's Road today, which runs across from this road that we're on Delgate Road or whatever it's called, um, across to the next road in which I can't think what it's called either. Um, it looks like it's a really windy, sort of sketchy road. We're not entirely sure. The only thing we could find on the internet says it's one of the most dangerous major roads in Australia. Um, doesn't look that bad. It says there's a 20 ton weight limit on it. So we'll see how it goes, but hopefully it's a nice one. Should be a good day. Made it all the way along to McKillop's Bridge. It was a fairly narrow, winding road, but nothing sketchy. But luckily we only met one car right near the end. Otherwise there was a few bits where it would have been a bit a uh, bit testy. Mikulis Bridge is just over there. Um, the road's um, sign just here says unsuitable for caravans and long, uh, unsuitable for caravans and semi-trailers. So we've unhitched the caravan. We're just going to drive up me and Mel and the dogs. Left Grandma and the kids here just to see if we're going to make it up or not. Otherwise we're going to make the traverse the whole way back. So see how we go. I think this must, must be the sketchy bit people are talking about because the other bit wasn't anything special. It was a bit dodgy but nothing bad. Enjoy. Someone's coming up with a camper trailer now. Mm -hmm. But it's terrifying. That's the road over there. He's hooking it. Yeah, it just drops. It was narrow and rutted out. And yeah. Terrifying. Just like sheer drop off on the side. Crazy. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't know What are you doing? Filming you Why? I see now Having a swim in the... What river did we decide this was? I don't know What? Den... Den Dite? Del Kitty? Den Kitty? What? What's this right? I don't know. We're having a swim in the river. Hey, Snowy! 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 Snowy just ran into a wombat hole, which doesn't look a bit... looks abandoned, but who knows. I don't think Snowy would win a fight with a wombat. Yeah, nice. No, this river is absolutely charging along. It's beautiful and refreshing after that big drive up the hill. Hitch the caravan back up. We're heading back up towards uh, Delegate. Um, we might go back up to Jinny and come down the Barry Way, but we'll see what's happening. Might even stay here. We'll see. Yes. I don't know if we've got enough dinner though. We'll work it out. Mm. It's off. Filming me. I'm not filming you. Yes, you are. I'm not. Yes, you are. How do you know? Because I see myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kids, look, I'm back into New South Wales again. It's exciting. Where are we? 
We're at uh, Duck Downs, uh, just near Dalgody. It's a kind of station, um, you know, this people's property. They've just sectioned off some areas of their land where you can camp. Um, it's lovely. We're kind of in this area, there's three spots here. Um, so they're kind of near each other, but separate enough that you're not going to be on top of each other. Uh, and they said there's a few more spots kind of over the back side of their property. But, um, yeah, it's all self-contained, but really lovely spot, beautiful view. So we just put up a video of um, doing that McKillops Road that we did today, and one of my friends commented and said, oh, is that the Barry Way? It's a nasty Killips Road, so I thought we should probably search what the Barry Way is like, which is what we were planning on doing tomorrow, which is why we come up to uh, where we are, Dalgety, and search that, and that says not suitable for caravans either, and all the comments on the internet says don't do it in caravans. So <laughs> that was a waste of time driving up here, so we found another route, so I think we're going to go through the National Park, um, through Threadbow, and then out through Can Coburn and out that way. Because that says not suitable for large caravans and we've only got a small one so we should be fine there <laughs> another thing not going to plan oh, at least we found out if we did half the barry way but more changes to get some shopping and to keep going. We're gonna head up through Threadbow to King Coburn and across into Victoria that way. Um, but it looks like the clutch might be failing in the car. So hopefully, there's no accommodation in Gindvine. There's only one mechanic who's gonna be absolutely heaving because it is heaving in town here. Um, so we're gonna try and make it into Victoria to Coryong. Um, apparently there's three mechanics in Coryong. There's a free camp there as well. So we should be able to stay there no matter what in for a few days if we need to get the clutch done but who knows if driving across the mountains is a great idea but it's only a real choice we've got other than heading back into Canberra or something where there's no accommodation either so we'll give it a go um yeah might end up getting the toe again yet again but who knows what's going to happen So we're just coming down, uh, just gone past Leather Barrel Creek rest area. We caught up to another caravan coming down and we thought it might have um, been them, but we started to smell like brakes. But we just pulled up and realised ours is smoking. So, just let it. So, not too bad, hopefully, just let them cool. Well, that was a hell of a drive down. Um, we ended up staying for about 45 minutes at that stop, letting the brakes cool down. Um, they were still pretty hot, like still sizzling when we left, but they came down okay. Um, but as we got closer and closer to Coryong, the clutch, you could definitely tell, was starting to fail. I think she is dying. The car kept revving up um, after gear changes and stuff. We weren't losing any power, but if you kept it out of a certain power band, it was okay, but towing the caravan, it was really hard to keep it out of that power band. So we made it here though. So we're in Coryong at the free camp, which is the local golf club, um, which is just behind me. There's a golf club just over there. Um, and then town's just up behind. Uh, there's five mechanics in this town, apparently. So 
Hopefully tomorrow is the 3rd of January, so it's public holiday today. Hopefully tomorrow is Tuesday and someone opens up, we can get the clutch done or fixed or enough, patched enough to continue on the holiday. We'll see how we go, but yeah, it's um, it's just not, the car's not running very well, so I don't really want to go remote, which is pretty much what the rest of the holiday is supposed to be. So I hope we can get it fixed, otherwise we'll just hang out here for a few days. Could just be a few relaxing days trying to get it fixed, but it's quite nice here. Overlooking the trees and yeah, overlooking the golf course. Spot under the trees. It's been looking like it's going to rain all afternoon, but hasn't yet. But it should be good.